It's Christmas time. Oh! Hello there, and um, don't mind me, I'm just singing some Christmas songs in the middle of um, um, October. Never mind. Hey everyone, Joe here from the Morning Clients, and welcome back to another video. Guys, today's video is going to be slightly different because today I'm going to be going ahead and summarising for you guys the 12 or 11 weeks of what Drama Series 2 was going to be. And I'm going to talk a little bit about why it never happened, and I'm going to talk a little bit about that. So if you guys do look forward to this video, please don't forget to like it, and I hope you enjoyed that little comedic intro. Now, you may remember week one of Drama Series 2 went like this. Because effectively a load of bad things happen if you don't know what those things were. I'll talk about it in a separate video which I'll link hopefully in the description below. Now, I'm going to go through, I've got like a note file that I made and I do have behind the scenes which will be released very soon. I can tell you as a matter of fact, bear with me one moment, I will confirm for you. The first part of these behind the scenes will be released at the end of this month on the 29th of October. You will get... You will get to see the behind the scenes for the, for the planning of the series and the first part is 40 minutes long and it's mainly me conceptualising it and then this will go into some of the behind the scenes for this will go into the second video which actually has a point I need to render that one and get that one on there too. But let's get down to business. Now week one, week one obviously with any sort of thing you want to just lay the foundations you don't want to build anything, have anything crazy and I've got, I'm going to keep looking away because I've got the notes. Week one, uh, the idea was to lay the seed that Hercules is the villain of this series, because as you'll find out later on, Hercules isn't actually the villain in this series, but I'm going to try and lay a seed to say that he is. Now, <laughs> um, the funny thing was, I have a lot of videos listed, Hercules was going to make a video, which he did, saying that um, someone is annoying, using the pronoun he, never specifically referring to me, implying that it could mean somebody else, which would give me a loophole, well, not a loophole, but a point to say, it was somebody else. Who? That somebody else is actually right here. So I'm going to quickly um, get that somebody else set up while I continue to talk. And uh, where are you? Is he in there? No, he's not actually. Oh no, he's not, is he? Um, he's not in here, so I can't do it. Um, that's Matthew, by the way, if you don't know. Um, put that over there so you guys don't see it. Yeah. Um, yes. Then uh, there was going to be a video where me and Matthew did a collaboration, uh, which was going to be annoying because his voice, I did have the first video on his channel, but his voice literally, otherwise uh, behind the scenes, so I hadn't mentioned it already, it's like, <laughs> hey everyone, that's too like, hey everyone, Joe here from the Minecraft, no, that's, uh, that's the wrong intro. Hello everyone, my name is Matthew and welcome, you know what I mean, it's that really annoying high pitched voice which I like, but I like the fact that later on in the series, Boy, know that he will, he kind of turns evil and he kind of gets a bit of a deeper voice and I haven't quite worked out out yet, but uh, yes, that's kind of what I want to do with his voice, uh, which is why I don't like using this voice anymore because it's like, hello everyone, and I designed that voice to be intentionally sort of annoying, which I think is what you want with a character who is designed to be annoying. Uh, so that was week one, week two, uh, Rose, uh, who as you may or may not know, is one of my old accounts for this series was going to make a comment saying something like, oh you're cute again. Don't don't think I'm weird for having an account that's got a girl's name making comments saying that I'm cute. It's for the series. <laughs> what was this? I don't know. This is a cross. I've no idea what I'm doing. I really don't. So moving on and David Carl would say that's gross. Week two Hercules continues his investigation against the male, I've got it written down here. Uh, Hercules is making a, a... Literally, I've got a list, my little document here, I've got Hercules, another, again, another video. What was past me thinking? I, I genuinely don't know. Uh, TMA, uh, which is me, obviously. Collab between Matthew and Joe, same collab as above. Uh, what? Oh no, what well, I think the one this video was, this one in week one was Matthew's side of the collab. But I would have read that my side of the collab a little bit later for some reason. No idea why. And then Matthew would do a video really on Urban Dictionary, which would be very similar to my video. Which would warrant me to be able to put through some comments from David and potentially get some of my other friends in on it. To kind of comment saying, oh you're, you're copying Joe. Because what this idea was, was the idea that Matthew would be bombarded with all these comments and I would try and stick up for him. Are you following so far? I mean, it's quite complicated. It's, it gets more, don't worry. Uh, well, don't worry, but... Um, 
We're going to do a video, which I actually recorded, addressing the hate that Matthew had received when he copied copied my video. Uh, then Matthew will do a reaction to my video, which was always going to be a bit of a pain, so I'm kind of glad I didn't do it. Uh, then we've got the comments here, again, Ruta Ma David's Ruta Matthew. Uh, Rose is somewhat defensive of Matthew, and is appreciative of Jay's response. Makes, uh, makes her think more highly of him, which is important, remember that. Uh, and overall comments, comment, comment rows are very negative about Matthew copying Jet. Week three. Now this week is where David starts making videos. Now note here, a new line of text will appear in Joe's about page saying this channel is not safe. Which I kind of wanted to play with the about page of it and I actually still got a copy of my about page saved on my phone. So that if I wanted, to, I actually wanted to change it, I could. So I'd have the backup of the other one. Um, Matthew will make a video saying thank you people for their continued support after all the controversy. David will make his first video, which again I actually recorded, and you can see that in the behind the scenes video. I quite enjoyed recording that video. Basically what I did with David's videos was because it was black screen. I recorded them like this, and then I put like, just took the audio file and dragged it down. And what I did, of course, one of the mistakes I made was when I first uploaded the third and final video for David's channel, I accidentally uploaded the wrong version, or rendered the wrong version, and rendered this with me on the screen, which obviously I don't want, because for storyline purposes, I'm supposed to be like this, and the screen's supposed to be all black. Um, David's voice is much deeper than that, as you'll find out, because I'm going to upload all the videos that I've got for the series, I'm going to upload them all, and I upload this one. Um, or make them public, because I think they're all on the ch oh, they should all be online. Uh, apart from the behind the scenes, which are going to come later, because they're, they're in a chain with random vlogs. Okay? You get that? Yes, good. Uh, so, then Matthew will make a video reacting to David's video. Uh, I will make a video saying this is going too far, which is going to be made and will be on the channel. Uh, and people would be continue to be harsh to Matthew about his videos. Moving on to week four. Joe tries to. This is. I got like a little summary, by the way, before each one. Joe tries to help Matthew through the growing pains of starting a new channel and all the hate he has received. Matthew and Joe, another collab together. Maybe playing a social game? That was my idea. Uh, David did the video, What is the Number One Fan? Um, I think in, this was the video where I was like, I'm the king of the castle and he is not. He will never be Joe's number one fan and he is just pathetic and stupid for trying. I can't remember what I said, but it was hilarious and I remember myself laugh so much afterwards. Uh, he is falling, Hercules will make a video. A uh, quick video where Hercules describes a person who is quickly falling out of popularity due to his decisions. Which could relate to Matthew or Joe, which I want, I like. Because Matthew is obviously falling out of popularity, but Joe is not getting the best response for sticking up for Matthew. So effectively, they're both kind of falling out of popularity, but I think people would stick more with Joe than Matthew. Uh, commenters, this week, the commenters are mainly from, Re comments are mainly from Rose telling David why he's wrong in his video, and also defending Joe. The cute comments continue. Moving on, towards the end of the week, another line is added to Joe's about page. With a line gap with the underneath the last, the line reads, I know it isn't. Week five. What are we on? Uh, we are on eight minutes. And I've got to cut a bit out, so probably less than that. This week, Rose begins to contact more with Joe. What was I writing when I was? This week's quite short. Matthew makes two videos. One where he talks about his life, and one where he is upset for all the hate he's receiving. Uh, Rose talks in direct con conversations with Joe in the comments of his birthday vlog, which obviously will, this gives you an idea of when this was supposed to come out from my birthday vlog, which this, this was the week of the 10th, which, yeah, I'm 17, which is weird to think about. Uh, week 6, this week, Rose uploads her first video. Rose's video, which was going to be titled My Opinions on the Current Drama, Rose feels she needs to make a video on what is happening due to the fact that she's saddened, so saddened, by what she's ha seeing happening to Matthew and how Joe is getting hate over it too. As I said. Uh, comments, just more general comments. Towards the end of the week, another message appears on Joe's about page. Similar to us saying, well, protect it then. Which I liked. As you can probably tell, which is why I decided to do it. Or didn't, but you know, we went nine minutes ago. Week seven. This week, drama continues to build and there, as there is a mysterious attack and purge on Joe's channel. Uh, Joe uploads a video, it's so easy, a voice, we hear a video where we hear a voice, hear an evil voice laughing and saying, it's so easy. The commenters this week, this was the only video that was part of the series this week, um, the comments are shocked about what's happening, Rose asks whether Joe is still here or okay, David's confused about what's going on, Matthew's also confused about what's going on, and he's also confused about what's going on, everybody's confused, because 
What is going on? There's no one's bluffing, obviously. Uh, week 8. This week, Gamer attacks Matthew for a bit his voice being so annoying. Hercules uploads a video saying that someone something weird is going on. Matthew uploads a video saying what you guys want to see from me, as I've done in the past. Genuinely, I've done those videos genuinely, so if you guys do have any ideas. Also, I've recently made a tweet on my Twitter account. Go check out my Twitter if you don't follow me already. Link in the description below if you have Twitter. Because on there, I made a tweet about I'm currently going to go on my 2019 schedule. Because um, so I'm nearly done filming my 2018 videos. And I want to know, what do you guys want to see from me in 2019? Let me know down in the comment section below. All on that tweet, preferably on the tweet. Link to the my Twitter is in the description. And also a lot of the characters. I think Hercules has a Twitter. Um, and on Instagram, we're, we're, I'm gradually working on getting them all set up on social media because it, it's good for me to do some marketing. So, yeah. Anyway, um, hopefully this does the video. Uh, Matthew does the video. David does a video where he attacks Matthew once again for having an annoying voice. David gets a comment from Matthew saying, "I'll pay for that." Uh, basically, on the video where um, he makes a comment about his voice. Um, he goes about page and you message page. You didn't. You, you did well there, didn't you? Question mark. Moving on to week 9, we're getting quite close to the end now, we're getting quite towards the climax of series 2. Uh, David is acting strange this week. David uploads a video saying that he was wrong about Matthew and that Matthew is so good. One of the things that I put into Matthew's, um, to Matthew's dialogue was he was all he was always going to say so a lot, like really stretch it out. So the fact that David was going to say so good was meant to be a hint that something was going on between the two of them. What the hell is this? I generally, it looks like a dance move. Like a really horrible dance move. I generally don't know, guys. Don't judge me. Anyway, um, Rose then also makes a video talking about how David's previous video, which is uploaded about the same time as David makes the video saying he's apologising. And then Rose makes a video about and when she comments on David's and Hedge of Heart, then Hercules makes a video saying the climax is coming. Uh, then David does a collab with Matthew, which is a weird thing. I mean, it was kind of the thing, it felt natural, knowing why I was wanted to take the story, it felt natural to have David do a collab with Matthew. Uh, the commenters in this video, Rose Chain comments on David's, they're shocked by his tragic change of heart. David doesn't find it weird that he's changed his mind. At the end of this week, a brand new message will appear on Joe's about page, the same as before, saying, I will expose you. Who is saying that, and who are they saying it to? Who is this back and forth? If you haven't worked it out already, I'm not going to spoil it, I'll tell you at the end. Uh, week 10, this week, starting discoveries will be made. I uh, started discoveries will be made. David a random, makes a random video where he goes, his voice goes weird. Come on, come on, come on. Point, point, point. No. I am being very weird in this video. This isn't me trying to be weird, this is me just generally being weird. I have no idea why I'm being so weird to say here. Uh, Hercules had a video where he claims that he's innocent and he's not the villain. And if I remember correctly, bear with me one moment. Duh. I can tell you when in the week that was going to be uploaded because I have planned, I did plot out when all the videos are going to be uploaded in terms of dates. And that was going to be, let me tell you, week 10. That was going to be on the Friday, and that would say enough. It was going to be next week, next Friday, a week today when this video is going to be up. You're going to see that video, um, and today, when I'm uploading, when I'm recording this video, you would have seen the collab with Matthew, uh, Matthew and Brad, uh, David, not Brad David, who's Bradley. Uh, okay, so that's that. Um, I recorded about 13 videos. I've just seen my mind myself with some statistics. Uh, so, then Hercules would have read that video. Joe would have read a video where. Uh, Matthew takes over Joe's channel because shock horror, Matthew's the villain. Yeah, I was setting that up and I kind of meant, I mentioned it earlier on. Uh, the correspondence was going on between Hercules and Matthew. Matthew was the one that was saying, um, this channel isn't safe, and uh, Hercules was the one that was saying, I know, but I will protect it essentially. The comments this week Rose should be being uh, shocked as to what is going on. Matthew should refrain from commenting on David's videos. There was video, but we'll comment on Hercules' video saying you will not expose me. I had to wait. No, 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 wait, wait. He's one of the people that he is one of the people, and it also implies that Hercules is also one of the people. At the end of this week, all text on the page will disappear, be replaced purely by the words "I win." Moving into the finale week, week eleven. Now the true villain is revealed. He can cause carnage across the entire TMA universe. Joe will make a video entitled, he is a robot, and now when Matthew is replaced, Joe is a robot. I am a robot. 
I was not looking forward to filming that video, so I'm kind of glad I did. Uh, Matthew will make a video where Matthew uh, declares that he has won, and Rose will make a video where he states that we we have to help Joe. Joe will make a video entitled You Will Never Save Him, where the robot Joe reveals to the audience that it is impossible to save their YouTube friend. Or person they watch. Um, the video ends as normal and cuts to a dramatic shot. This was going to be interesting for me to film. Cuts to a dramatic shot of real Joe lying on the floor, seemingly coming around on the TV behind him. You can see Matthew sitting on his table. Tense music builds and peaks. And uh, to be continued, message appears. The comments this week should be all over the place, but there should be not not be any comments from Joe or David as they are not are not, not are in their normal characters essentially. So there you go, guys. That is the pivotal sort of series two. Now, I'm gonna say it. I liked series two, but I didn't really think it, the idea worked of having it all spread out in different videos. Which is why when it comes to when I do series three next year, we are gonna be doing it in like drum like shot scripted videos more, like you know, dramatic sort of with camera angles and not like these sorts of sit down videos like we were doing before. Which I'm really looking forward to doing actually. Um, I do just want to say, um, unfortunately, obviously, if you don't know, the series got cancelled, this series got cancelled, but it got cancelled, but not the whole thing. Series 3, and then potentially another series after that, and maybe even more after that, will come. I've got a plan, essentially, that is going to take me for the channel next year in terms of the wider aspect of the channel. So, you guys, I haven't prepared. And I'm really looking forward to next year. I think next year is going to be really good for the channel. Again, if you have any suggestions of what you'd like to see on the channel, please do let me know down in the comment section below or on my Twitter account. This video has been a slightly longer one. If you have watched it till the end, thank you so very much for watching. Um, as I said, behind the scenes will be up on the 29th and the 5th respectively. Also on the 5th of November, you can catch a very, very special, special video. I have not made a video of the type that I've made for the 5th of November since about a year ago to that date. If you can work it out, get hyped because I'm really looking forward to you guys seeing that video. It's about this length, the same length as this video, but it's much more entertaining in my opinion than this one was. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. It's been a bit of a long one, but I kind of wanted to explain what happened with Drama Series 2 and kind of explain what was going to happen. Um, a point I will make, as I say, is that um, the series ends with that shot. The last video that gets uploaded within the series uh, is that shot of me waking up and then I wake up and Matthew's on the TV. That's it. That's the last shot of the series. That's all I'm going to say. But guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do hope you enjoyed and I will see you all in the next video, guys. Remember, you are awesome. Don't know where you take different. And I'll see you all in the next video, guys. Goodbye.